Hey, Tai here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. So while the entire industry is actually trying to shrink down their VR headsets to enhance the graphics and the resolution as much as possible, there's one company that's just said, you know, f it, let's skip all of that. Let's make contact lenses for VR. And they actually did. Mojo Vision just announced that their virtual reality contact lenses are now feature complete. What does it mean and how do they work? At the end of the day, we're talking about an XR device in your eyes. Yeah. So well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So it's not the first time when we talk about Mojo Vision. This is a company that is working, of course, on creating, as we said, smart contact lenses. So with a screen inside, sensors inside, a processor inside, and a battery inside. Think about that. It's not for sure an easy task. So they're working for many years to actually make it work. They want to make it right. Also because we're talking about contact lenses. So it's not just about the technology part, but it's also about the health issue with it. You know, you're sticking something electronic in your eye and that's a pretty sensitive part of our body. So of course, this company is well known for their technical background and also their medical background because you need both for an ambition like that. And that's not just an ambition, because Mojo Vision has finally finalized the latest prototype of their project, the one that is actually feature complete. What does it mean? Well, that means that it has everything inside that is going to be needed for a consumer version, a professional version that is going to arrive in the near future. Everything is already packed inside and now it's about making it run better and about, of course, getting the FDA certification. because. That might be a little tricky. But now let's talk about what's inside these lenses. Because, well, of course, to create a virtual reality, augmented reality, or smart contact lenses, they have to create the smallest and densest display ever made. A micro LED display with a PPI, pixel per inch density, of 14,000, just to understand it a bit, uh, a phone usually goes from the 300 to the 500 PPI, a virtual reality headset around 12, Hundreds. Uh, well, this is 10 times as dense as it, and it's also half of the millimeter in diameter. This is just the comparison uh, with the LED bag. That's small. And this display is going to sit right in front of a fovea, the part of the eye that has the highest sensitivity. And it's going to be able to display high resolution text, videos, different graphics. And of course, because it fits right in front of the eye, it doesn't matter if you're outdoor, indoor. It's gonna work anyway. And imagine, it's gonna work even if you close your eyes. So if you're watching a scary movie and uh, that part is too scary and you close your eyes, well, you're in um, bad luck. You're gonna see it anyway. Because yes, in this way, you're gonna be able to switch from VR to AR, just closing or opening your eyes. It's fantastic. But let's get back on what's inside here. It also has an image sensor, a kind of a camera to understand the surroundings and use the information in different applications. For example, it might enhance your vision. For people with vision impairment, I light in the edges of objects and stuff. Now, this is interesting. This is a very precise eye tracking sensor with a accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer. Yeah, because it turns out you don't need cameras to understand the position of your eyes when the thing itself is positioned on your eye. So yeah, every movement corresponds to the movement. This is going to be very useful to actually interact with the software. And also the magnetometer at the end of the day is a compass. So you're going to be able to have the compass the HUD pretty much like Halo. Now all of this together really makes me think at the HUD in a video game because you can have your compass, you can have all the information that you need. The screen right now outputs just in green. So yeah, it's a very Fallout vibe. We just need the health bar and uh, that's it. But let's keep going. There's of course a battery system inside composed of a coil that goes all around the lenses with all its risks involved. A 5 gigahertz antenna to communicate with an external compute unit because of course it would be hard to fit like a, a processor inside but there's actually a processor in there. There is an ARM0 that doesn't have a lot of compute power but it's just used to actually understand the data arriving from the compute unit, external compute unit to your lenses. For now, unfortunately, it's not possible to have a compute unit directly inside the contact lenses, but I don't really blame them for that. It's already mind boggling that we're talking about contact lenses uh, with the display inside and all this other stuff.
Now, with all these things inside, are we going to be able to actually wear them? And well, the answer is, of course, yes. These are the particular contact lenses because they are not soft, but are actually hard lenses. This is made for two different reasons. In this way, they can't slip or bend, so they're not going to ruin the circuitry. And at the same time, because they sit on the sclera instead of the cornea, they're going to be locked in place on your eye all the time, and you're going to have the display in the best part possible of your eye to have the best vision possible. And from different tests, it seems like hard lenses are actually more comfortable than soft lenses. Of course, Motion Vision is also working on the software for these lenses. With this HUD UX, it's going to be available for you all the time while wearing them. And it's going to be able to display all the different formations that you need. And just looking at something and holding your sight on it, you're going to be able to open different menus and stuff. It sounds super cool. Its use case is going to be used, as we said, to make your vision a bit better. And at the same time, give information. For example, if you are an athlete and you need to know everything about your workout without getting distracted, looking at your phone or your watch and something like that, everything is going to be always in front of you and ready for you. What are the applications that you would like to see in a, something like that, beside the Halo or Fallout HUD? Uh, that doesn't count. I want that. But hey, what is going to be the price and when these things are going to start to be available? Well, about the price, it seems like it's going to be around the price of a high-end phone. Now, uh, depends on when it's going to be available because phones have the tendency of getting more expensive every year. So hopefully it's soon. And when it's going to be available, well, they're planning to start to ship in this decade. Of course, these things are already working and uh, that's amazing. They have already prototypes that they're using in the office. But of course, it's not an easy task, as we said at the beginning, to actually make this available for the broad audience because they have to go through the FDA, the US Food and Drug Administration. And consider that we're putting off a battery in our eyes. Well, that has to be super safe. And Mojo Vision is for sure not pushing by any means and not trying to make it as fast as possible because they want to be sure first that this thing is going to be safe. And uh, that's the most important thing, I think. Oh, I forgot to say to recharge them, of course, there's wireless charging because yeah, why not? But that's about all. These are the Mojo Vision lens and I can really wait to try something like it. Even I have the phobia of putting things in my eyes. It's times that I have just to put a little like, <sighs> yeah. Uh, it's gonna be hard, but I think I need contact lenses right now. Anyway, guys, are you ready for it? Are you excited for it? What would you use them for? Let me know in the comment below. And as always, if you liked the video, like, if you did, like, if you did, like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you really love the channel, so the join button in there. To know further, also the Patreon. Thanks to all the patrons and join the channel, of course. And uh, yeah, that's about all. Like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching.